Today's episode is about piezoelectric sensor based power generation. In this episode, you will learn how to do PCB drilling, soldering, how to use a piezoelectric sensor, how to get rid of the negative voltages, how to connect multiple piezoelectric sensors in parallel. Let's get started. In part 1, we covered the PCB design settings for printing, transferring the design onto the copper plate preparing the ferric chloride acid solution and etching. So I recommend first you watch this tutorial and then resume from here. Link given in the description. So these are the PCBs after the etching process. As you can see there are black marker lines and paper. So first of all let's clean these PCBs. So now as you can see the PCBs are cleaned and now ready for the drilling. This is a small drill machine used for drilling. I will provide a link in the description if you want to purchase this. It needs 12 volt and 500 milliamps. It has an on off button. You will also need a drill bit if you are doing drilling for the first time then make sure you purchase at least 10 bits and also make sure you use protective glasses. Its use is very simple. Simply insert the drill bit and then press this small button and tighten it. Now connect a 12 volt adopter. Turn on the button. Now this drill machine is ready for the drilling. Be very careful if you are drilling for the first time and don't forget to wear protective glasses because this drill bit can easily break. For the beginners I suggest to use both hands. Use one hand to hold the drill machine and another hand to hold the PCB and to support the other hand. Keep the drill machine straight and apply a normal downward force. Avoid speeding in the beginning if you are a beginner. Take short breaks while doing the drilling. This way the drill bit will remain cool. So now as you can see the drilling is completed. A piezoelectric sensor is a device that uses the piezoelectric effect to measure changes in pressure, acceleration, temperature, strain or force by converting them to an electrical charge. The prefix piezo is a Greek for press or squeeze. As you can see by pressing the piezoelectric sensor we can generate voltage, sometimes even more than 20 volts. But we have an issue. As you can see we are getting both the positive and negative voltages. These positive and negative voltages varies and make an AC type signal. We have to get rid of the negative voltages. We can do this by simply connecting the piezoelectric sensor with a bridge rectifier. This is a bridge rectifier. It has four legs. The two legs are labeled with AC signs and the third one labeled with plus sign and the last one is the ground. The longer leg is the positive one. Connect the two wires of the piezoelectric sensor with the bridge rectifier AC input legs. Now connect the positive leg of the bridge rectifier with the positive lead of the digital multimeter. and the ground leg with a black lead of the digital multimeter.
now as you can see we are getting only the positive voltages adding a bridge rectifier solves our problem we will also be needing diodes one and four zero zero seven diodes will be used the silver line side is the cathode we will also be needing a 6.3 volt 2200 microfarad capacitor the leg on the white line side is the ground while the longer leg is the positive now let's discuss the complete circuit diagram this is a simple connection diagram a piezoelectric sensor is connected with the ac input legs of the bridge rectifier the positive leg of the bridge rectifier is connected with the anode of the 1 in 4007 diode the cathodes of all the diodes are connected together and all the ground legs of the bridge rectifiers are connected so all the piezoelectric sensors are connected in parallel these piezoelectric sensors will be used to charge a 6.3 volt 2200 microfarad capacitor using a small value capacitor can speed up the charging process now let's start the soldering first of all we insert all the bridge rectifiers into the pcb boards and complete its soldering As you can see all the bridge rectifiers are soldered. Bend the legs of all the diodes so that they can be easily inserted into the PCB boards and then complete its soldering. All the diodes are soldered, now it's time to complete soldering for capacitors and push buttons.
First apply solder to legs of piezoelectric sensors so that we can easily connect wires. Now strip the wires using a wire stripper or plier. Don't use your teeth. All be back after I strip all the wires. For applying same amount of pressure to all the sensors at the same time we need to cut 8 into 8 inch boards and drill holes on all the four corners. You can follow any dimensions. Now fix piezoelectric sensors on the boards using silicon gun.
Now solder the wires with the piezoelectric sensors. All the wires are soldered. Now arrange these wires. Solder these wires with the PCB boards. It doesn't matter which piezoelectric sensor you connect with which rectifier as all the rectifiers are connected in parallel. Connect a digital multimeter. Currently the voltage is 2.22 volts. Let's charge this. As you can see an increase in the voltage is yes, it's a large value capacitor that's why it's taking time to charge use a small value capacitor to decrease the charging time now let's connect an LED and let's see if it can turn on an LED I hope you liked today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.